hello welcome everybody so today we are uh, going to see the second class second part of our uh, comprehensive exam of uh, structural analysis one we are studying structural analysis one for our comprehensive examination see as per your syllabus at least six questions will be asked from structural analysis one minimum six questions will be asked from structural analysis one so in the first part uh, we saw about the concepts basic concepts of uh, influence line diagrams so this is uh, actually the fourth module of structural analysis one the first three modules i will uh, take it at the end so this is influence line diagrams we are continuing in the first class we saw how to draw an influence line diagram for a single concentrated load so in this class we are going to see how to draw the influence line diagram when there are more number of concentrated load and when the and when there are udl shorter than the span and the position is given for you see where the load the fixed load position is given for you so for this position how to draw the influence line diagram that is what we are going to see in this class we will continue the influence line diagram for more problems on the next class so here we are uh, so we are going to see some problems some simple problems using some problems how to see without explanations without uh, the lengthy explanation in short what is required so if such problems are asked uh, how to solve such problems in a simple manner that is what we are going to see now so see the problem is assembly supported beam has a span of 5 meter draw the influence line diagram for the reaction a and b shear at point x and moment at point x when x is equal to 12 meter from the left support listen this is a single concentrated load single concentrated load is 1 kilo newton so we know to draw the influence line diagram for reaction a so for drawing the influence line diagram for reaction a listen reaction a r a a is the left support so a is here so at this support you will have the maximum ordinate so the maximum ordinate is 1 so here you mark 1 at b you will have 0 so you extend this to 0 so this is extended to 0 now using similar triangle principles you can find the other all the other corresponding values okay for finding the reaction r b influence line diagram for reaction r b the ordinate will be 1 at b and 0 at a so for all the remaining points this point 8 point 6 point 4 point 2 at the corresponding distances you can use similar triangle principles now we are asked to find the shear force at section 2 meter see the formula is at section x is equal to 2 meter your shear force diagram will be like this that is it starts from a it will be negative up to 2 meter it will come up to 2 meter the value will be x by l then from here you will have a rise the formula is l minus x by l and from this point up, up to b you will have a, a slanting line a dropping standing line now see this uh, from a to x you will have negative and from x to b you will have positive value and this a to x vary varies with x by l and x to b varies with l minus x by l now see this x by l and l minus x by l if you add you should get 1 at this point of x you add x by l l minus x by l and x by l so l by l is 1 minus x by l plus x by l you will get 1 okay so now the remaining corresponding points you can find using see here all the remaining corresponding points you can find using similar triangle principles now for finding the bending moment bending moment is always positive so from a it is positive up to x it is rising and from x it will be uh, diminishing so increasing and decreasing 
and the value that is uh, the formula for this values is x by l into l minus x x by l into l minus x so find this point what is x by l into l minus x you will get 1 by 2 where x is 2 and l is 5 meter then all the remaining points you can use a similar triangle principles so you can find so, if you are asked to find, if such a problem is given and if you are asked to find the reaction at RA, reaction at RB, influence line diagram for shear force at X is equal to 2 meter from the left support and influence line diagram for uh, X, uh, bending moment at a distance of X is equal to 2 meter from the left support, you can easily find before, see you need not use any formula or anything, just to draw the diagram, find, use the formula and find what is the values. So, your values changes depending upon the position, depending upon the section taken. We will see one more problem. Using influence line diagram, determine the shear force and bending moment at the section C in the simply supported beam. Section C, 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 section C is taken at a distance of 4 meter from A. So, here we have more than, one, more than uh, one concentrated load. We have three concentrated load and one UDL. So, for this condition, for this position, what is the influence line diagram? So, the formula is the same as we seen in the last problem. So, influence line diagram for shear force at C. At C, the values are L minus X by L and X by L. So, draw the diagram. Now, find the corresponding points under the load. See, under this 40 kilo Newton load, what is the? magnitude that is 1 by 7 and uh, so this point at C we have already found this is already found now under the end of this uh, UDL what is the ordinate 4 by 7 so use the formula x minus uh, use the formula what we, have, what we have studied earlier now under this 60 kilo Newton load what is the ordinate that is you can use the formula L minus X by L and X by L or you can use a similar triangle principles both you will get the same answer. Now after finding the ordinates under the loads the influence line diagram for shear force at C will be see the that is the load multiplied by the ordinate in the influence line diagram. So it is 40 into since it is minus negative ordinate minus 1 by 7 plus this a uh, load into area under the load. So, 10 into this area, this is uh, trapezium, this area plus this area plus this is 60 kilo Newton load multiplied by the ordinate 3 by 7 plus 80 kilo Newton load multiplied by the ordinate 2 by 7. So, this is the shear force at C. Similarly, you are bending moment also. You can calculate the value x by L into L minus x. Find the other ordinates. Find the other ordinates. Now finding the maximum bending moment, sorry, bending moment at C, it is the intensity of the load multiplied by the ordinate under the load. When it is concentrated load. When it is UDL, you multiply it by the area under the load so that you will get the bending moment at C. So, today we have seen two different problems. If concentrated load and a new deal shorter than the span is given for you, how to find the bending moment, shear force, reaction at A, reaction at uh, B, sorry, reaction at A, reaction at B and shear force and bending moment for a section. So, thank you for today. We will see uh, some more uh, simple examples in the next class. Thank you.